back again with one of the most anticipated and long awaited cases for the S24 Ultra. So let's check this out. What's up guys, welcome back to Michael's Tech Talk. So, one of the first cases I dropped for the S24 Ultra was this. This is the Maggie Z Case 4 from Bataka. And yeah, this is like armored fiber, it's thin, it's lightweight, it's really good, but it is a bit of a mixed bag for people. It only protects half of the phone. It's really, really thin, very, very light, but you do get trade-offs with it. So, Bataka are back with this. This is their Maggie Z Pro case for the S24 Ultra. I've been waiting a long time for this to drop and uh, kudos to Bataka for sending it over for review. So let's check this out. Here we go. So this is their Maggie Z Pro case. Uh, this is their new pin button case with NFC technology built into it. So stay tuned. I'll show you how to set up some of the NFC stuff on this case, but let's check this out. So it does come in this black and gray armored fiber, which is uh, like an armored fiber weave, is what Pataka really use these days. And it's like a 600D type of pattern. Very, very nice. So let's just get a look at this thing because I've been waiting for this. And here we go. So, there we go, so we have this lovely arm and fibre weave and I will say like Pataka are one of the best out there for arm and fibre. The, the way that they weave their arm and fibre and mm, chef kiss. This is a full TPU bumper all the way around the phone so it will cover all sides and edges of the phone. And then we have our pattern on the back, we have our camera cutouts for the single lenses which is nice. On the inside then we have this lovely Napa leather uh, covering. I actually thought this was like a microfiber lining but it's, it's not, it's Napa leather so even better. Premium. And we have these metal buttons on the side so you've got your volume up and down, you've got your power button as normal and then we have our new NFC pin buttons which are here as well and these are also metal. So yeah, TPU bumper and pretty awesome. It's relatively rigid so yeah, it's pretty good. So let's just weigh this case and this is weighing in at 42 grams. So that's actually pretty decent for this case considering it's got a lot more buttons and not the leather in it and that kind of thing so it is pretty good. So let's just try the S24 Ultra on this case and there we go so there it is and talk about sleek this isn't that my black s24 ultra so this is just an absolute perfect color match for for what you can see the lenses as you can see there are uh individually covered but you will have room for lens protectors if you want to use them which is pretty good uh we have our metal buttons here so let's just try them clicky tactile responsive no issues there and there's the pin buttons as well and they are clicky and tactile as well very very good so let's just do the fitment test then so if we just take the corners and we just give it a twist the phone doesn't move so that's that's good you don't want the phone popping out at the corners uh, that's exactly what you want you want a good firm grip of your phone inside the case that is great and of course then the screen lip so if you look here the bottom and the top of the case is raised up so it will uh, give you a little bit of lift up protection from your surface and then the sides come up flush with the display. Now I don't use a screen protector so I don't have a screen protector on but I would imagine if you have a screen protector it will give you an extra bit of height so the case won't line up flush with a screen protector on. It is what it is but when you set that down flat it's not going to rough up that display that is what you want. And then if you check out the camera bump then, the lenses do not protrude out and it is a little bit raised up as well. So if you do set that down flat, those lenses aren't gonna to touch that surface. That's really what you want. So I will say this TPU bumper around the sides does feel a little bit grippy and that's what I like. It's not too grippy and it's not rough or coarse, but it just feels grippy enough. And I do feel like when I'm holding this, I'm, it's not gonna fall out of my hands, which is what you want. Of course, then you've got that 600D armored pattern weaved pattern on the back Pataka's logo here is very very subtle as well very very nice very very nice this is the case this is perfect it is MagSafe case so we can do a MagSafe test so uh, let's hope Pataka's magnets are top notch uh, in the first version of this case I 
did have a little bit of weak magnets. Pataka did fix it in the revised version and the magnets were great. So here's hoping that these are just as good. Oh yeah, look at that, perfect. Absolutely perfect. That is what you want. Top notch MagSafe there, perfect. We will do the S Pen test as well. So if we just pop the S Pen out, and if we just write on the phone, so if, uh, if I draw uh, shapes around where the magnetic coil would be on the case, we're not getting any interference there whatsoever. And if I just do a bit of writing here, my goals, tech, talk. Yeah, that's pretty good. No issues there. Fantastic. And just to be thorough, we'll stick a MagSafe accessory onto the back of the phone and we'll try it again with magnets attached. And yeah, so there you go. With a magnetic uh, device on, it is going to interfere with the S Pen a little bit. Unfortunately, that's not really a Pataka problem. That's more a Samsung problem, you know. But let's face it, how much writing are you going to be doing when you've got MagSafe accessories on the back of your phone? Typically, I use MagSafe to charge. I'm not writing when I'm charging. So it's not that big a deal for me personally, but it may be a big deal for you guys. What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, when you do have an accessory on there, you do get a bit of interference. But without it, the magnets are absolutely perfect. No issues there whatsoever. The NFC tags. So this is Pataka's new concept for their case. We've got these three extra buttons on the case. And I'll, I will be honest, the first time I looked at it, I kind of thought, I don't know how I feel about that because that's just a lot of buttons on a case. But the more I've kind of thought about the concept, it's actually really, really good. So what we'll do here is I'll show you how to set this up. So if you go into your settings and just do a, uh, just do a search and go, go to modes and routines, and then if you go to routines like that, you'll see here I haven't got any set up yet. So if I go to add and I'll say create a routine. So what will trigger this routine? So we're going to select an NFC tag and it'll ask you to put your tag on. So we'll just press and hold this top button and it's asking me to name it. So I'll call this one music. All right. And then this routine will, and we want it to open an app and I want it to open Apple Music. Save. And routine name, we'll just call it Music. Done. Okay. So, if I press that, and there you go, there is opening my Apple Music. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Nice. So we'll just uh, we'll just go ahead and do it again. So if we go in, we'll add another routine then. So I will, let me see, NFC tagged. So we'll do the second one then. And we'll call this one YouTube. Okay, and this routine will open an app, open YouTube. Done, save. one YouTube and then if we do the third one then again NFC tagged we'll hold number three and we'll call this one maps and what we'll do we will open maps done so there we go. So there is our routines all set up. So if I press and hold the top one, that'll open up my music. Perfect. Press and hold the second one, it'll open up YouTube. Absolutely. And then if we open up the third one, yeah, and there you go, there's maps. So that, that's actually pretty awesome and it's really handy as well. You know, obviously you can configure uh, buttons to do shortcuts and things like that there, but to have individual uh, NFC shortcut buttons, I think that's really, really cool. And it's it's something different. And I commend Pataka for going outside and thinking outside the box and doing something different. So yeah, top notch. So what do you guys think of the Maggie Z Pro? Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, for me, this is top tier case. This is absolutely god tier. 
If you want to pick this case up, I will leave you a link in the description down below. Affiliate links help support the channel, but they don't cost you guys any more money. So if you do pick up using one of my links, thanks for your support. Much appreciated. So I'm going to go and I'm going to enjoy my brand new Maggie Z Pro case. So that about wraps it up for this video, guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, smash that like button for me. Don't forget to click that subscribe and ring that little bell to be notified of new videos just like this one. If you want some more down to earth tech review and accessory videos, you know where to come. And until the next one, guys, I'll catch you later. Sexy. Everything about you so sexy.